Brook United because they have no customer service booth here. So even if something does go wrong, there's nothing that you, there's nobody you can talk to who can like do anything about it, and they just don't give a shit anyway. Playground, okay? Chris is so pissed. I'm so pissed. I still can't even believe it. They're just trying to book her flights now for tomorrow. These kids are so antsy. Welcome to Vancouver. This is our airport, you guys. It's so pretty. Isn't it pretty? So look at this little pond over here. Okay guys, so we are both very pissed. You should have seen Chris, like they weren't gonna let him on the plane because he was so angry. And I was like, what plane? The plane that left us? But anyway, it wasn't our fault. So we are gonna go down to check in again and then have them, or make them, give us first class. So we're actually leaving. We have to come back here tonight at like three in the morning because the flight leaves at six. And that's the earliest flight that they were able to reroute us to. Um, and then we get to LA tomorrow at 6 p.m. So it's gonna be a freaking long day of traveling with kids. I'm gonna lose my shit. Um, so basically we lose one day of it's either we lose one day of Disneyland or we don't end up going to San Diego because we were gonna go to San Diego on the 22nd so we still haven't decided yet what we're gonna do but I'm just glad that I booked Skylar's princess makeover and Ariel's grotto for the 19th Thank God, because I was debating if I should book it tomorrow or the next day, but I booked it the next day. Because tomorrow for Disney um, was just going to be like a whatever day for us, um, more so for Kai, but uh, this is so annoying. I'm annoyed and I'm really mad. Chris is super so anyway how do you explain to a three-year-old that we're not gonna go on the plane she thinks that we're still gonna go on the plane today pardon my french but if you're in my situation you would be this pissed Aww. so we're gonna go home and go night night okay Skylar. Hey, Skylar, daddy's calling you we're gonna go home and go night night first and then we're gonna go on the plane all right. United Airlines is fucking full of bullshit retards. And I want to actually, I don't know, I don't know if I want to like drop kick them in the face or cut their like nuts off and then feed it to them. One of those. 
or um, just kick him as hard as I can in the box. If you're ever going to Vancouver and you're flying United, change your flight or don't ever book United because they have no customer service booth here. So even if something does go wrong, there's nothing that you, there's nobody you can talk to who can like do anything about it and they just don't give a shit anyway. So I don't know, fuck them I guess. Just an update guys, we are on our way back home. It seems like it's been a long day and we didn't even get on the plane. It's just a long day of complete bullshit. <sighs> Top it off two cranky kids at the end and one that do you have to explain why we're not getting on the plane today and two the other one just wants to get out of his stroller and go nuts so anyway um we are flying tomorrow our flight's at six in the morning so we have to be at the airport later at three so how do you do that with two kids i don't know their sleep is just gonna be effed seriously like we were there three hours before in the line and it just wasn't moving at all and they blamed it on their short staff and the lady at the booth even called um, called to like to let them know right that yeah to call the gate for us to let them know that there is four more people coming on and as soon as we get there they close the gate they routed us to another flight tomorrow we have a layover in Chicago what the heck out of all places Chicago but that was the only flight that they found for us that could leave um, the earliest LA the earliest but it's not even early because we get to LA at 6 p.m. so that's again a whole day like, of traveling with two kids we're both really upset about it but what can you do we're gonna try again tomorrow we're just gonna keep the plans as is and then we're not gonna get to our hotel until like 8 o'clock so yeah that's another thing. Um, since we're flying to LAX, our hotel is in Anaheim, so that's another trek. 6 p.m. Probably gonna be traffic heading there, and then we won't get to our hotel like late, so we can't even do anything but just get to our hotel and get the kids to bed and then have an early start the next day to Disneyland, so. Crossing our fingers, hoping that this falls through because it's supposed to snow tonight. And apparently they had tons of cancellations because of the weather. Oh my gosh. Chris almost got kicked off the plane that wasn't even there anymore. He was so mad, he threw the luggage and should have caught that on video, but it was too fast. Too fast, too furious. Yeah, he was so mad. He threw the luggage and the lady was like, is he going to be okay to get on the plane? Because we can take him off the plane if his attitude is going to be like this. I'm like, well, what do you expect? And then, okay, so we went back to the booth for United Airlines and he talked to um, the manager telling him what happened and everything. But the upgrade that they were only able to give us was Economy Plus. Just more leg room, but still, that's really nothing compared to how much money we've already lost in a day. I give her prop for staying calm though. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I was really mad on the inside. Just this, like the this tiniest little hint of like attitude or anything like that. I was like volcano <laughs> ready to explode. Yeah. Like the first time at, at the freaking cut in the gate. Yeah. I think that was such a bitch. Mm. Yeah, she was such a bitch. She's gonna freaking turn her face inside out. What about on their way back? Uh, business. Oh, okay. So there you go. At least we got business class on our way back home. But heading there is just economy plus. But still, like United Air is just a complete joke of an airline. Don't ever fly United Air. They have no customer service. Well, there's not, 
there's not even a booth there. Yeah. To uh Oh, and another thing, they spelled Lakai's name wrong. That's so why we couldn't get in. Yeah. Oh. So it's their fault. Cause we tried to check in on the um kiosk. on the kiosk and it we couldn't check in for some reason. But the reason why we found out later was because they spelled Lakai's name wrong. Talk about it in wrong name for me. So mad yeah. about it. Oh